today we're going to focus on some of the gear you want to have with you. You're not going to be in a boat, you're going to be on foot, so you need to have everything you need with you. So start with some of the basic stuff that you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need really is a stripping basket. This goes around your waist when you strip your fly line into it. That keeps it from getting caught up in the wave action, caught up in the uh, seaweed and everything else that's there. So it, it takes a little getting used to to, to uh, placing the line in the basket, but with a little bit of time you'll feel comfortable with it. This one's the line curve one. Uh, as you can see, it has cones in the bottom that keep the line from getting tangled up. Uh, also slots so that you can lay the rod down. If you're going to need to tie a knot or whatever, you can you can lay the rod down across it. So it's a very handy uh, piece of gear. Uh, secondly, you're going to need something to carry your gear. Uh, in this case, this is a fish pond delta sling. This is the one I kind of like. I like the sling pack styles. The sling pack, this, this will carry certainly everything you need. You can do away with, with some of this stuff and get a smaller bag if you want. But there are certain things you, you obviously want to have with you. You need to have a fly box. I prefer to have something waterproof. Secondly, you need a pair of pliers to take hooks out, cut line, something like that. These are Van Stahls or titanium. They can get drenched in salt water. It doesn't matter. They have no issues with that. You need some leaders or some leader material. In my case, what I carry, I carry appropriate uh, size leader material. And then I also carry pre-made tippets that will already have the class tippet and shock tippet put together. So I can get that tied up fairly quickly, particularly if I'm going after tarpon or something like that. It, I want to have all those more difficult to do knots already set up and ready to go. If I'm using the two hand rods where I'm using shooting heads, I've also got a wallet that holds different density shooting heads so that I can change those out depending on the conditions that, or possibly the, the fly that I'm using. It's always a good idea to have some sunscreen with you and something for cleaning the line, something to clean your glasses with. I, I also do carry a, uh, a hook sharpener as well. Your fly goes through the sand and gets dulled pretty regularly. Lastly, the one thing that has certainly served me well over the years to carry is a small pair of binoculars. With that, I can see birds working down the beach, fishing, fish breaking as well, see schools of bait. There's been a lot of days that I've seen something with the binoculars and you know, made a short run down to somewhere else and caught fish that I wouldn't have otherwise caught. That's the basics. That's what you need. That and obviously your rod and reel and you're good to go.